Hello everybody, welcome to this instruction video. In this video I'd like to show you how to make tassels that you can attach to a shawl or to a cushion as decoration. I'm going to be showing you how to make them using the Prim Tassel Maker in which you can make tassels use in different sizes. So I'll be showing you how to make them using this device. So what do you need to make these tassels? Of course the tassel maker itself and when you buy this you'll also get an instruction leaflet that goes with it. And I'll be showing you the steps that are in this leaflet. That's what I'll be showing you in the video. So you'll be using the tassel maker, you'll need a pair of scissors as well as, as a darning needle and you'll be using some yarn. The yarn that I'm using is Schepje's stonewashed yarn and you can see here that I've got leftover yarn and that's exactly what, I'm, what, what tassels are great for. So you have this leftover yarn from other projects and then you can make them into tassels to decorate that project. So I'm using Schepje's stonewashed yarn in various colors and together with the tassel maker. Let's get started. I'm going to be making the largest tassel, so that's this one, give or take 10 centimeters, but you can of course also make smaller ones. I'm going to be using this part of the maker. I'm going to grab my yarn, I'm going to just make them three strands together because then it goes faster. So if I just find the beginning and then I'm going to wrap this around the tassel maker. So I'm going to hold it like that, I just give it a bit of a um, a, bit, a bit that just sticks out. And then I'm going to wrap this around and I'm not going to be making a very thick tassel at this point but if the, the more wrap arounds you do the thicker your tassel becomes. So I'm just going to wrap it around a few times and because it's three threads together it goes nice and fast. So I'm just going to I'm just going to do it like that. Not, not too thick got a few wraparounds and then I'm going to cut my yarn here at the bottom and it doesn't matter that this is sticking out not the same length we'll cut them to length at the end. Now on your needle thread some yarn and this is going to be doing to close the tassel at the top. So here underneath I'm going to stick my needle underneath all the threads and then just grab the other end and make a knot. I'm going to take the needle off because that makes it easier. And the knot is, I'm going to over on the one side and then come on the other side and do another twist. So it's like a double twist. And then I'm just going to pull this tight and just to be sure I'm going to put another knot in here because you want this because this is going to be the part that you would secure your, your tassel to to your project. I'm just going to move it a little bit up so that the knot is really on the top of this edge so it doesn't does not like that but I'm just going to move it up just a little bit and I'm going to cut this thread to about there so this is going to be the top of the tassel and on the other side, I'm going to cut my yarn. So I'm going to turn it around. So here's here's the, the end. The other end is in there somewhere. And here at this edge, we're going to cut all these little threads. So I'm going to come with my scissor and underneath, cut them all. And of course, the thicker your tassel is, the longer that will take. Now you've got about half a tassel like so. so. This is what your work looks like at the moment and now in the second step we're just going to be finishing it off here by putting, if I just take this one, you're going to be putting that thread on there. You can see you've got half a tassel now. So for the second step, for that second step I'm just going to cut my thread. I'm going to take a thread and cut it at about 30 centimeters, 10 inches, 12 inches or so. And this is going to be the thread that goes over there. Now, take the tassel, and you see this hole here. I'm going to grab the outer end and pull it through the hole. And, and then the tassel comes with it. See how it's there. And depending on how far you pull this is how large 
this piece here is going to be. So this is at your discretion how much you want there. I, I often take about a thumb's width or so, so uh, we'll give or take something like that. Then the yarn you just cut from the top and make a knot in it. And what's important here is that on the one side you want the thread to be a bit shorter and on the other side a bit longer. I'm just going to make a knot there. I'll show you what I mean. So you see this tail is this tail is much longer than that tail. So I'm going to pull this tight. See there, I've pulled that tight. And I'm just going to make a second knot in that as well to make it nice and secure. And sometimes I even do three knots here to make this very secure. And there we go. These two we're going to treat in a moment. And now pull the tassel through. And what you can see happening here is that it's aligning all these threads here to the bottom. And then when they're all at about the here, you can start seeing that these are much longer. That's more or less the length that you're at. You can cut this all off to the same length. So I'm just going to cut them all here. So this, if you're a hair, hairdresser, this will be very natural to you. And you snip that excess off, and now they're all the same length. I'm just going to take that away, all that little fluff. And now the last step, you've got the threads here. You take the longer one. So this is the short one, and this is the long one. The long one I'm going to wrap around like so. I'm going to wrap this around and cover that short thread in the process. And again, how many times you do this is completely up to you. The more you do that, of course, the thicker that part becomes. At a certain point when you're happy, just thread this out end on a needle and push it inside the tassel and then just pull secure. Then these two tails, your final two tails, so that was the first one, so that's the short one and the long one, cut them to the same length as the rest of your tassel. And that's it. That's a tassel you just made. And as you can see, this is super easy and also a great way to make them all consistent. Because that's also what I find very frustrating with tassels, is that they're not all the same size, they're not all the same thickness, and, and you know, and then that I find um, aesthetically unpleasing because I want them all to look the same. So this is a way to make them all exactly the same. Now this one I've made before had a few more wraparounds, so it's thicker. But when it comes to length, they are the same size. And that's what I find very important when it comes to tassels, that they're all the same size. So depending on how many wraparounds you have, you have a thin one or a thick one. And depending on which part of the maker you take, you'll have longer or shorter tassels. That's all up to you. But I hope this video helps you in how to make a tassel using the Prim Tassel Maker.